right, let's talk about this video and we're going to answer the questions that I asked you before. Mm -hmm. The who, what, where, when, how and why questions. Okay, so I say this video is interesting. I think it's interesting because it's a bag full of cash. <laughs> who doesn't like that? All right, so let's take a look. Uh, the first question was, why would someone put so much cash in a bag? Well, we could think like a Hollywood movie, maybe. Maybe this is ransom money, All right? Let's take a look. Ransom. Maybe it's ransom money. Maybe someone is being held hostage. So it's ransom money for uh, for a hostage. So if someone kidnaps someone, they steal someone and then they hold them and they call them and call up the person and say, hey, if you want to see them alive, you're going to have to pay me some money, right? And then I'll give them back. Or maybe I steal your dog <laughs> and I hold your dog for ransom. I call you and say, I have your little dog. Can you hear him? You're going to have to pay me $500,000 before I'll give you back your dog. So it could be ransom money, right? Uh, I suppose it could just be this guy's personal cash. He doesn't like to use a bank. He likes to carry it around with him in a bag. <laughs> so why would someone put so much cash in the bag? More than likely, they need to move it from one place to another and they don't want to go through the regular banking system. Maybe it's an illegal transaction. Maybe it's drug money. Maybe it's... Uh, illegal money somehow that uh, maybe it's a bribe ah, like a bribe here we go a bribe so a bribe is money that you give usually to like a government type person and depending on the country you're in you might need something and they'll be like oh you know it's too difficult it's gonna take a long time and then you say okay well I'll give you extra money and they're like hey <laughs> so most countries all countries, I think bribes are illegal, but depending on the country, it might be accepted or not accepted. Like in the US, if you try to bribe someone, ee, there's a good chance that you're going to go to jail. Like in other countries in Southeast Asia, yeah, there's a very low chance you're going to go to jail. Okay, so let's see, let's go to the next question. Where did the person get the bag full of money? Well, if it's a bribe or if it's they're trying to pay a ransom, then maybe it's their own money. They went to the bank and they withdrew the money. Or maybe this is the bad guy and he just received the ransom money. Maybe it's a drug transaction and this guy just sold a whole bunch of cocaine and he just received his cash payment. Or maybe he sells weapons. Who knows? All right. Next question. How is the money sorted in the bag? Okay, so the money is sorted in bundles. Money, it's a sentence by itself, the money is sorted in bundles, right? And the guy is kind of sifting through, he's digging through the bundles. Now a bundle is just a group of bills, a group of paper pieces that are put in a pile and they put a, r a rubber band or maybe a strap or a piece of paper around the middle. So it stays together in one bundle. So you pick it up and you automatically have however, however much money the bank decided to group each pile by. All right, maybe it's $10,000, maybe it's $5,000 if this is US money and I think it is. Uh, so each one is a bundle and here all the bundles are side by side in the bag. All right, so the answer, the money is sorted in bundles. Good. Next question, when will the man stop counting the money? Well, I imagine he'll stop counting the money after he is confident that it's what he think it is or the amount is as much as he, he's expecting, right? If someone gave him the bag, then maybe he's checking. He's checking to make sure if he received the amount that they agreed upon. Or maybe someone, some person found this bag on the street and they're like digging through and they're like, whoa, and they're so distracted that they just keep counting, right? Now, another reason to stop counting the money could be that people are looking at you, right? They're like, hey, what do you have there? Woo, 
cool, right? And if you have this much money on the street, people start thinking things, you know, they would like to have it. Some people might try to steal it from you. So that would be a good time to stop counting the money and leave. And probably don't go straight home because they're going to follow you. Go to a library, go to a public bus station or something and look around to see if anyone's following you. Just like in a movie. Okay, next question. How would you feel if you found this bag on the street? Now, I'm going to assume this question is for me. Well, first I would probably be shocked because it's not, I imagine it's very uncommon to find a bag like this on the street. So I would first be shocked. Then I would be curious and I would be, I would want to know more information. I would probably look around to see if it looks like anybody is, you know, trying to look for their bag or something like that. Uh, but then after that, it's like, whoo, your mind starts to wander in different parts of your imagination. What you could, what could you do with the money? Mm -hmm. All right. So if, how would I feel if I first found this bag? I'd be surprised. I would be curious, shocked, right? Next question, what would you do if this money was yours? All right, so if in this question it's mine, so, uh, wow. First thing I would do is find a safe place to hide it, and I probably would divide it. I would not put the whole chunk together, because if somehow if it's all together and someone finds your hiding spot, zoop, the money's poof, it's gone. So I would probably divide it up and put it in different locations. And then uh, I would probably wait for a while because to see, you know, is someone looking for it? Was it involved in some sort of illegal thing? Did they put something in the news about it? I don't know. The possibilities start to enter your brain. Okay, so in this video, we talked uh, about this video right here and we answered the questions from before. Okay, interesting.